today we are with the new Kona All Electric for 2023 and we are about to charge with DC on an Ionity charger. It's freezing temperature outside about zero degrees Celsius. We've done a bit of preconditioning on the way here, but we are getting low on battery at 8%. And therefore, it hasn't necessarily done a huge amount of preconditioning. So can we hit the 100 kilowatt? And how long does it take to get to the 60%, the 80% mark? How long does it take to add 200 kilometers? Is that good enough? That's what we are checking out now. First, let's see how much time the car tells us there is to 90%. And now we're in three minutes to 80% in 43 minutes. To 70%, it's 33 minutes. To 60%, it's 25 minutes. And to 50%, it's 20 minutes. You can't set the ceiling below 50%. So let's see it run now. We started at about 45 kilowatt. We're now on 53 kilowatt at just, just a few minutes. And very quickly, we ramp up to the 99 kilowatt. So that means that after just 15 minutes elapsed, we have now recharged to about 130 kilometers of range. 20 minutes, we've got 160 kilometers. We're still at 100 kilowatt. 25 minutes, we're at 60%. Still 100 kilowatt, more than 200 kilometers of range. And then 67%, this is the full. Now 70%, you're at 48 kilowatts. So clearly this is not very good at all now. And then we've reached the 80% within 40 minutes. So as predicted, slightly better. Now let's see what it does to the 90%. So this is super slow now. This is almost like AC charging on 22 kilowatts. Of course, this is DC charging, but that's 26. So 90% by 57 minutes. That's a lot, but maybe you had a good lunch. Right, so we are finishing now. We are at 94% after 66 minutes. We have charged 63 kilowatt hours, so that's quite a bit. You can see how far you can reach now, 338 kilometers of range at 94%. That's pretty good. It's still cold outside, but all the freezing is gone. And 95%, we stop now at 63.9 kilowatt hours charge, which is quite a good chunk of the battery if you think we started at 8%. And the losses are not supposed to be massive on this. Okay, so now we've got the charging curve flat 100 kilowatt between 13 percent and 63 percent could it be a little bit before 13 percent possibly assuming that you've got the preconditioning before i think in that case maybe we weren't completely hot right there or maybe that's where the curve starts but anyway very good on the 100 kilowatt to 63 percent and then not very good at all but what that means is you've got a good half of the battery where you can go at pace, you can gain quite a lot of range within a very short period of time, and that's very good. Now let's compare that to a car we know all too well, the Ionic 28 kilowatt hour. So is it a good successor to that car when it comes to the kilometers of range added as a function of time? Well, you can see that the curve starts about the same, but that's not a problem at all because, of course, the Ionic is quite a bit more efficient. Let's say that the Kona consumes 30% more. And therefore, the fact that the speed of charging is the same when it comes to kilometers added at the start, that's not a problem. The Ionic is very good at that. The problem is the Ionic, after 18 minutes, you're done, right? Because there's essentially no more to add. You're at the top of the battery or the usable element of the battery, the 10 to 80%. And that's where you can see that the curve starts to slow down massively and then stops altogether. You just can't add more range because you're at the top of the battery. While here, you can merely go 
again up to maybe the 250 kilometers mark i mean clearly you're wasting a bit of time over here so 25 minutes 25 minutes is probably the sweet spot for charging on this particular car and that is adding about 200 kilometers of usable range which is quite substantial now let's compare to another car which is quite a bit more pricey not not massively more but it is more expensive it has supposedly a better charging curve because it starts at 130 kilowatt but the reality is that curve is not flat and therefore what you see with the Kona which is supposed to have this kind of slow charging problem well really by the end of your 20-25 minutes which is really what you are after a anything lower than 20 minutes you just don't have time. Anything above 30 minutes, you start noticing. So that's okay if it's a lunch break. But anything beyond that, if you're staying in a car, if you're just doing something around, that's too long. So I think what this shows is that at the perfect spot for doing another 200 kilometers, the reality is those two cars are very similar. Now let's make it real for a second. So what can you do by doing a full use of 100% to 10% and then charge for that 20 to 25 minutes. Well, if you've got the Kona and you want to go from, let's say, Canterbury to Durham, um, that's, that's about that 500 and 515 kilometers. If you wanted to go and see some cute pandas in a zoo, so that's in the center of France, that's also 515 kilometers away from Calais. So what you're gonna do in that case is you are going to be uh, doing that 100 to 10, 325 kilometers. So you're looking probably at three good hours of drive, especially in the UK, it's gonna be much more than that. Um, and then you're gonna stop for that 25 minutes, charging up to 65%, and you're gonna go again for the best part of two hours, maybe an hour and a half, and then you're gonna be there. And that, I think, is pretty much what you would have always done with any kind of car combustion or otherwise. And therefore, is the Kona too limited when it comes to the charging? Well, maybe on a thousand kilometer, on the kind of, I'm going from north of France to south of France, I'm crossing and I'm going to the North Pole. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's not gonna be the best for that. But I think when it comes to just use full charging speed to do a top up to go beyond the 300 kilometers i think it's actually not bad at all right so that's where we conclude uh, we've got the charging curve it was when it was freezing temperature it wasn't bad at all until 62 percent and then afterwards well that's not very good at all but I think that's pretty usable if you've got the efficiency and we'll come back to efficiency of the car separately. Well, that gives you a 500 kilometers plus of range after one charge, which anyway, you would have had to make that stop. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.